Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. In the previous, I have uploaded the video like how to send the email to multiple recipient. There is a request that how we are going to make a dynamic emails. Currently, I am using the static part. Okay, so here if I go to the tutorial controllers, here in the two, I am just adding the array of the email addresses. So the person here says that I want to connect the database to retrieve my email. So means the email should come from the database, right? So here we are doing the connectivity with the database and fetch all the emails addresses that we have and make them into an array and send that onto that email addresses. Okay, so we are going, going to make it dynamic part. Okay, somewhere you are in the settings, you are making the emails, you want to fetch that one and you want to send that emails to that addresses that case is very helpful on that one okay so let's see how we are going to do that before those who haven't subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video please do like share and comment on my video so let's get started so here we have an email model so i have created the new email model where i am storing all the email addresses which i want to send okay so this is the schema of that model Next, on the server.js file, where it is, here I have created the one method where I'm just inserting the emails, the static emails, okay, insertion. So here I have 902, I'm going to put the 903 also and save this one. Okay, so this is the email creation. It will create a new email entry into your Mongo database, right? So if email saved, that it will console as throwing the error next part in the tutorial controllers okay so here we are just using the await email dot find finding all the emails of the database then we are making an array of arrays and then <coughs> sending it over here so let's see if the email goes to that email addresses or not okay so let's restart the server so here we go with that one and email saved so let's check all the emails into the database so here we have the the database is email db so where is email so let me refresh the connection emails db collections then we have a emails so here you can see the one email is rajni903 let's add what two more three emails so here we have 903 let's go to the server and we will make 901 also save it and try to run again <clears throat> okay this is again saved let's refresh view documents there are two records okay 901 and 903 let's check on this emails on this email addresses the email goes or not okay so we have in the two array list okay so let's try to go to the postman we have a send email api try to send and check these are the two emails 903 and 901 and the message sent successfully let's check the millinator section so here we go with the millinator so we have a millinator 901 so which are the email addresses in the terminal 903 rajni 903 901 rajni 901 first we check So here you can see that just now it's delivered and then we have back to the invest 903 so 903 if we go and here you can see just now it received the email right so this is how you can make it dynamic okay i hope the user who has commented on my video i hope he get the answer any doubt any query in that just do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day